This video is sponsored by Envato, a great all-around video asset resource for video editors. What's up guys, Austin Newman here. It's been a while since I've done one of these little short video tutorials on Premiere Pro and some really cool effects inside Premiere Pro. This time we're gonna be tackling Duotone, which is an effect that I think I saw first on Spotify. So I wanted to play around in Premiere Pro 2020 and just kind of see if I could duplicate the effect. This is what I ended up with. I think it looks pretty cool. It's something that's really close to the Spotify effect. And I wanted to show you guys how you can also get this look right inside Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 without any plugins or presets of any kind. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got this footage here on my timeline of my friend Cheyenne. Now, something I wanna mention, if you're gonna be shooting for the duotone effect, you wanna keep in mind, you want a really nice bright background. And if you can, have your model or subject wear darker clothes. This is really gonna help a lot better to kind of bring and maximize the effect out. So you definitely want to keep that in mind next time you are shooting if you're going specifically for this look. So I have the footage here. The first thing that I wanna to do to it with it selected, go to my Lumetri color panel. I'm gonna to go to base, basic correction and I'm gonna to go to saturation. I'm gonna bring that all the way down. So you wanna convert this to a black and white image absolute first thing you want to do. Next thing I want to do is we want to make an S curve to really add some more contrast and make this image pop. So I'm going to go down to curves and I'm going to go to my RGB curve and I'm going to select three points, shadows, mids, and highlights. So to make the S, I'm going to bring the shadows to the right slightly and I'm going to bring my highlights back to the left slightly. So this makes somewhat of an S. That's why they call it an S curve. So now that we've prepped our footage for this look, the next thing we want to do is go up to your project panel. I'm going to select this little button here for new item. I'm going to color mat. These are my settings, so it looks good. And I'm going to bring in a red. Let's bring in something really strong and vibrant. And I'm going to name this red, just so we know what it is. Drag it into our timeline, lay that over our footage here, extend it out. And with the red color mat selected, you want to go to your, under your opacity to blending mode and change that from normal to multiply. Now you see it's kind of infused in the image already. We're not done yet. We've still got to bring in some other color to make it a duo tone effect. So the next thing I wanna do is go up to my project panel. I'm gonna select a new item again, color mat, and this time, same settings, I'm going to make this one a little bit more of a blue. Let's make this a little bit lighter of a blue, somewhere around there. I'll name this blue or view, that works too. Bring your view into your timeline, drag view out. With the view layer selected, I'm going to go to opacity, blending mode, and I'm gonna change this one from normal to lighten. So now we see that we've really infused this into the image. So something else that you can do if you wanna kinda of make this pop a little bit more, you do wanna tailor this to your image. You go down here to contrast, you can bring that back a little bit, bring it out a little bit more to really make the blue pop in the shadows. So if I wanna do more of a Spotify effect, I can just take this view out and change my red to like a green or something like that. And now we have more of a Spotify effect. Of course they have darker shadows. So you might wanna play around with that and the contrast a little bit more. So the other thing that I can do, you see this effect a lot with like motion graphics. You're gonna see it for all kinds of intros and openers. So I would definitely recommend kind of looking for some motion graphics or adding some motion graphics. I recommend checking out Envato. They're actually our sponsor. And I actually found this fashion promo. So I just went ahead and downloaded this, brought it into Premiere and this is actually Actually what it looks like without any footage. So it's already ready to go. I'll just click on like shot seven here, double click on that. It'll open up this new sequence. Go back to this timeline here where we have our footage and the effect. I'm gonna select all of this and drag that into shot seven. Lay that into that sequence here. So now that's already imported. And you see here, we have a nice opener. So if we wanted to, we could use this for the beginning of like an art show or a gallery or even a fashion show, music festival, all kinds of applications for this. In fact, you can find all kinds of really cool motion graphic templates just like this one on Envato, thousands of them literally. So make sure to go check them out and you can download them, try them out for less than $17 a month. You can find the link to this template as well as the Envato elements page in the link below. And that's as simple as it is to get the duotone effect right inside Adobe Premiere. Of course, I do all kinds of videos like this. If this is something that interests you, if you're a filmmaker, a video creator, you're out there trying to do your own thing, consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel for more videos just like this one. And until next time, guys, that's a wrap.